How are you supposed to get a job in coding when you have no experience? And how are you gonna build a resume? Let's talk about it right now. So first things first, my name is Nathan Savage. I'm the CEO of DevSlopes. We are a vocational coding school. And this is a question I got directly from one of our students. My student is Anton. He said, hey, Nathan, how do I write a resume if I don't have experience in front end? I have a friend and he wanted me to apply for just an entry level position at his company. Well, Anton, let's talk about it. First things first. The key to this is the concept that we've used talking about earn while you learn. The reality is what you need to do more than anything else is get some actual experience underneath your belt. Now this doesn't need to be thousand dollar paid gigs. In fact, it's the last thing from it. What you're looking for is not necessarily even the money. You just need to be make maybe a couple hundred bucks. What you need the most at the end of the day is for someone to say, listen, working with aunt was amazing. He completed this project on time. His communication was amazing. And he truly showed that he cared about me and what I was looking to do. See, what you want to get is about three to five testimonials of individuals saying that about you, and then you're good to go. Now, keep in mind, this is something that could take, you know, three to six months, depending on your experience level. So for our students in DevSlips, the moment they finish module five, that's when they're ready to go get freelance work. They're trained in HTML and CSS. Now, I'm going to give you some additional magic here. One of the things that we have our students do is they find all all of their friends or all the freelance projects that are available that are looking to hire for WordPress. Now we have a little bit of a secret sauce here and I'm not gonna give everything away because I can't give it all away, but this is what our students do. Now we know one thing, most people that have WordPress websites, guys, they don't want to be sitting around all day working on their little WordPress website. They're business owners, they're entrepreneurs, maybe they're solopreneurs just trying to do something as a side hustle. They don't want to be sitting around playing with WordPress. I have personally built tens of WordPress sites and I personally know the absolute monstrosities that take place with WordPress. Number one, they're extremely slow to load. Number two, you're going to download a ton of plugins. And what's going to end up happening is that you're going to, you're going to stop keeping track of those plugins and you're eventually going to have one go bad and it's going to crash the entire site. Then you have to go through and debug it. So you have to turn off a plugin, turn on a plugin, turn off a plugin, turn on a plugin, turn off a plugin, turn on a plugin and test it nonstop. It's nonsense. Now what those people need are guys like you, women like you who can come in and say, listen, I'm going to take this off your plate. I know that you're in a personal training business or a chiropractic business or a doctor's office. And what you need is someone who understands what you're looking for and can build it. Now I'm not a graphic designer, but I can contract out and find somebody who could help with the design and I can build it. Even better, if you have an idea of a website that you want, I can help you rebuild that site. Now, I'm going to add our own flair to it, obviously, and make it more about you. Now, if you need website functionalities, for example, to build in, if you need the ability for someone to book a call with you, I can get that fixed up. All you got to do is go to MailChimp, build in the email integrations, go to Calendly, get the iframe, copy and paste that code on the site. You're good to go. You don't even need JavaScript experience. You just need HTML and CSS and you're good to go. That's what you need. Now, let's say you're a couple months in the program. You're not ready to take on freelance projects, but you want to apply for a job. Well, let's keep in mind, maybe you're not ready. That's potentially true. But what we can say is take the portfolio experience you have and go show them. Hey, listen, these are the projects that I've been able to build. What do you think about them? Like realistically, that's all you can do for students in DevSlopes. I'm telling you, most of you are not going to be job ready until the end of module five, but you finish module five, you get three to five freelance projects projects underneath your belt, the world opens up. This is why we specifically created the interview meta calls. So these are calls where anybody who finishes React 104 in our program, we immediately prepare them for job placement services. So we start doing hardcore job interviews, preparing them for hash maps, preparing them for traversing a binary tree, all these really technical things my CTO directly does with them in a close knitted call. Like these are upwards of like six to eight people max typically. So we'll probably grow that over time, but it's the one time you get where you get to practice real life interviews. No programs out there doing that, right? No other boot camp is doing this. No other university is doing this. Nobody is doing this with the intensity and the close relationship that we are. So if we want to simplify this, you want to finish
finish through module five of the program, you need to gain some HTML and CSS experience. You need to create a handful of freelance projects. You want to find all the people that want WordPress websites and say, hey, you, I know you want a WordPress website. Well, what I really know you want is to be able to run your business without having to worry about your website. I'll take that off your belt. I'll charge you 200 bucks up front, 500 bucks up front. And I'll just charge you 97 to 200 bucks a month afterwards to maintain it. And you don't have to worry about the pain in the butt that it's going to be to you. That's the beautiful part about all of this. That's the entire sales pitch. Now, I'm not going to give you any more information. OK, that's a lot of details. That's what people pay us thousands of dollars for. I can't give you too much. But what I can tell you, the process to getting a job is much easier than you think. What they're looking for are what are your values? What are your principles? And we just got done doing a podcast over that. So if you want to learn more about the podcast that we have launched to help our students out and people like you who are wanting to get into coding, check out Savage Session. <laughs> check out Savage Sessions. And don't forget to check out the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.